In this video, we'll be going over Cloud Workspaces. Cloud Workspaces are hosted on MotiveWave's server and can be accessed from any computer using the same license key. Cloud Workspaces hold all of their data in the MotiveWave Cloud, including settings, instruments, analysis, etc. But it also holds a local copy so that the workspace can be opened in offline mode. Any changes that are made to the workspace in offline mode will be synchronized with the Cloud Workspace the next time you open the workspace in online mode. Now there are cloud workspace limitations. If you are a MotiveWave trial user, then you are allowed a maximum of one cloud workspace with a maximum size of 50 megabytes. And if you have a paid version of MotiveWave, then you are allowed a maximum of three cloud workspaces with a total of 200 megabytes. Workspace synchronization involves uploading new or changed files and removing deleted files from the cloud repository. For efficiency, untouched files will not be included in the synchronization process, and synchronization occurs at the following times. On startup, when the workspace is first loaded, it will be synchronized with the cloud to ensure that the latest files are loaded to the local disk. Interval, MotiveWave will run the synchronization process at a constant interval currently it's every minute, to check for changes and upload them to the cloud. This happens in the background and will not affect your usage of MotiveWave. On shutdown, when closing the workspace, any remaining changes will be synchronized with the cloud. And manually, at any point, you can force a synchronization to occur by choosing Configure Synchronize Workspace from the console menu bar. Okay, so let's create a workspace on the MotiveWave cloud. So we hop on over to Options, click on Workspaces, and you see now that we have three workspaces that are based locally and one on the cloud. And that will, as I mentioned before, anything on the cloud will have a local version as well. So you'll see here that I have one, two, three, and four workspaces. Okay, so let's create one. New workspace, we'll call this one Google. We'll place it on the cloud, add connection, Google, OK, create workspace. Now, just as a note, um, you can, for instance, make changes to the local-based workspaces, such as modifying the name, but you cannot do them on cloud-based workspaces. So, for instance, if I want to modify this one and just change this to CC, I can do that, but anything based on the cloud, I, I, I cannot do that, okay? Now I can also take an existing local workspace and assign it to the cloud, so I can change it to local disk to cloud, but I cannot take an existing cloud and make it strictly local, okay? So I would update and then it would synchronize, and now you see that it's changed to mode of wave cloud. So, as mentioned before, on the slides, synchronization help uh, happens on, first of all, on the load. So right now there's synchronization happening between the local and the MotiveWave cloud. I can force synchronization manually via configure synchronize workspace. Okay, there's also synchronization happening as I draw every one minute in the background. And then the final synchronization happens when I close the workspace. So if I close this, you'll see synchronizing workspace. And those are the four ways that it synchronizes. Okay, so that's working with MotiveWave cloud workspaces. This wraps up this video. See you in the next.